What's good YouTube? It's your boy Doyle back with another video. In today's video, I will be sharing a price action strategy that I use and I've had a lot of success trading it. Um, this video was inspired just by me going back and reviewing my trades. I went all the way back a year from now and I saw a pattern. I saw that when I trade this pattern alone, I've made a lot of money from it. Um, I will show a couple of screenshots of the results that I've got just strictly trading this pattern and um yeah the, it speaks for itself a lot of you guys are not aware of this but i do trade institutionally and um i only trade with the banks um i trade price action and that's all i trade and well you people that got my course y'all already know this but i just want to just bring this to youtube because some i think some of y'all still think i trade retail and i do not but um yeah let's just go straight into the strategy the pattern okay this pattern is an inverted head and shoulders now i have made more money with inverted head and shoulders than regular head and shoulders i don't know why that's just the data that i have okay um so the inverted head and shoulders is um is basically buy a buy off of support but you have two sharp moves so this area up in here is a sharp move and this area right here is a sharp move. And once it comes back to support, we buy once it starts breaking above candles, okay? So um, it's, it's just a simple three-step process. We spot a sharp move down, we spot a sharp move up, and it has to come back to support. It have to come back to support. I'm gonna say it again. It have to come back to support, okay? Um, in certain situations that it doesn't, but when I looked at my screenshots of, um, you know, when I journal, they majority of them actually came back to support. So this is you need to really like make sure it come back to support. OK, and once it comes back to support, we wait for candles to start breaking above and we get in for the buy and we have a tight stop loss. OK, so I'm going to walk through maybe the four or five setups just to sh uh, show you exactly how it look and what to look for. OK, so let's go. All right, so right here we own EURUSD to five minute. Um, this price action strategy can work on any time frame, but the lower time frame, the better because you will, you will see more of them. So just let that be known. So we're on a five minute chart and we have a sharp move down. Sharp move down. We have our support already created. And once it broke above and came right back, once it came right back and it started breaking above, you don't have to get in right when it break above a candle. Give it some, give it some space. Okay, so you can get in maybe up, up in here, somewhere up in here. It can be, you can get in late sometimes, but make sure it's underneath the support level or underneath candles. And we aim for the high or a regular one to one, whichever one you choose, either the high or a regular one to one. We never have a less than one to one we don't do that over here okay have to be one to one or we aim for a high and we get out or if you want to leave a runner but you know runners is not guaranteed don't expect for runners to always happen but yeah just you know one to one or aim for the high okay now remember it's only for inverted head and shoulders okay not the regular head and shoulders inverted okay so let's go to nas 100 Y'all know, y'all know I love this pair. I mean, not pair, but you know, this instrument. All right. So again, it looked very similar again. Okay, very similar. They have a sharp move down, sharp move up. Came back. Give it some wiggle room. Don't just hop in over here. Give it some wiggle room. Once it start breaking above. We'll be getting in, maybe up in here or something. Up in here and then get your regular one-to-one. -one. And then we have highs over here. You could have aimed for this high. 
I wouldn't try to aim for this one over here, but like this is a nice high to aim for. Um, this high was too close, and that's what that was going to be a less than one to one. So, you know, we're not about to do no less than one to one. So this 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 high could have been aimed for, or you could have just did the regular one to one. It's up to you. Okay, but it's just very simple. They all look very similar. They all look very similar. You're gonna see it. But support has to be already created, okay? So over here, support was already created up in here. So once it came back, it was just an easy trigger. Um, yeah, it's just, it's just a beautiful setup. Let's just keep going. Okay, now look at this setup, okay? It came back, did it touch the zone? No, but Look how close it is. It's literally like less than a less than a pip. That's okay. That's literally okay. So once it starts breaking above, um, we get in. We instantly get in. Stop losses underneath these candles or underneath the zone. Whichever one. Whichever one you feel comfortable with, okay? Because having a super tight stop loss is good with indices, but sometimes you want to give it room. So it just you gotta you gotta um eyeball it. So I'll say maybe up here. You don't have to get in exactly perfectly. And we have a high right here. This stop loss is way too big. Okay, we could do we could do it like that. Or we can aim for this high. This high over here. But this high right here, that's gonna take a very long time. So you gotta have some patience because you was up and then it came back. So it's really up to you most likely we're going to be aiming for this high right here and then we'll leave a runner but we probably got stopped out at break even once it came back and pulled back okay but you see support was already created sharp move down sharp move oh, let me grab it. sharp move down sharp move up and then it comes back okay okay we, we have to be patient with this um pattern because it, we don't know how long it's gonna take for it to come back to that zone, okay? But yeah, that that was literally less than a pip. I'm I'm counting that as a um as an entry because that come on, like we're literally right there. Okay, let's go to the next example. Okay, all right. So we have a sharp move down. Support is already created. So we got support already created, sharp move down, sharp move back up, and then it comes right back to it. See how those two red candles came right back to that support? We'll be buying once it starts breaking above candles. We can buy up here. We can, let's see, let's say we wanna buy above that red candle. This one right here, this candle right here, we wanna buy once it breaks above that candle, okay? Our stop loss will be underneath the zone and we get our one-to-one, -one. that high is less than one-to-one, -on -one, so no. So we have this high that we can use and we get it, okay? It's a beautiful setup. Let's go to gold, I believe. Yeah, gold. Yeah, let's go to gold. I think this is the last example. But this, uh, this pattern is very, very um, profitable, like very profitable. All right, so Again, it's the same thing. We got to look for support and we have to get two sharp moves, which is down and up. So we have sharp move down, this impulse move. Then we have sharp move up. You see all these big green candles right here? Sharp move up, comes literally right back to that zone. And once it starts breaking above, we're getting in for the buy. So once it came back, We'll be getting in for the buy right here. Stop loss is literally up underneath these candles. Since it's already break through, since it already broke through the zone, we're just gonna have our um stop loss underneath these candles. Okay. If it breaks through the zone and then it goes back above, our stop loss is underneath those candles. It's not gonna be beneath the zone, okay? Because that don't make sense. So we're gonna have stop loss up under here. One to one. Our right, one to one is less. It's, it's less than one to one at this high, so we, we don't do that. So we need at least a one to one, and that's right here. But the next high is up here. So if you wanted to aim for that high, let's see if did you get it. 
Yeah, I think you got it. Yeah, you got it right up in here. Yeah. It took some time, though. You had to be patient. But um, you definitely got it. So this pattern um, is very textbook. It's very textbook. And majority of the time, the profitable trades are going to look very textbook. It's going to look very clean. You're not going to question it, okay? Um, I love this. I love inverted head and shoulders. I, I, I absolutely love it. I don't know why, but they have more success. Well, I have had more success with inverted head and shoulders than regular head and shoulders. Um, uh, I do trade this during New York session. If you see that I have this um, indicator for our sessions, this is 930 to 12 to noon. So this is the time I look for setup. This is the time that I trade personally. But again, this is the five minute chart. So you can see inverted head and shoulders, um, London session. You know, you can see that any time of the day. It just depends on what pair it is. But uh, yeah, this is the strategy that I use that ha I have had a lot of success with a year ago. Like I've been trading this for a very long time and it's have a lot of good results. So I hope that y'all can implement this into y'all system, whatever y'all using. And uh, yeah, we just get to the money, man, for real. But um, I hope y'all saw value in this uh, video. If you did, hit that like button for me. Um, yeah, man, that's all I got. Peace and love. I'm out.